Okay guys, uh, so for the last video, I just wanted to wrap things up and uh, show you guys how to put it together the video. So we have our sequencer that we made from the previous lesson and um, this thing's on freeze. Okay, so yep, open this up and here it is and this is your sequencer. Um, so let's add a camera. Okay, so let's go over here, cinematics, camera, actor. Alright, so I actually like to switch to over here in camera settings and the details. I like to switch to 16x9 DSLR. I feel like the focal range a little bit nicer. Um, that's just me though. I also like to turn off the zoom or the the focus. I mean, um, just keeps things easier. You could also like change the focus with the eyedropper and setting it manually too, and keying it as well. If you ever want to key things, you just um, press these little diamonds. So in our sequencer, let's go to track, add actor sequence. Since our camera is already selected, we could just do that. You could also select and drag them in I think. Um, so our camera cuts are automatically created. If not you can just add camera cuts. Um, and what that does is, see right here, camera cut track. It lets you switch between multiple cameras. So for example, I can see right here. Um, you can also make another viewport window, viewport, viewport 2. That way you can switch to that camera and see what's going on. So say I wanted to capture like this much and then maybe I'll duplicate the camera. So now I'll get like a different camera view. Let's switch to that camera. So once you have your camera set up, maybe you want to switch around this section. So cut it down, camera, and then well, let's add this camera to the camera track. And then up here. So now when you press this little button, you view your thing. You'll be going from here to here. Nice cameras. Um, you can also animate cameras, maybe let's do a little, um, let's do a zoom in, so just press S to key it, so it's hard to move around, so let's just disconnect from that, and so from here we'll see our camera, one, alright, so to key, just press S like I did, and then new time slider, so maybe we'll do like a zoom out or something. Maybe a zoom in. Yeah, I don't know, just uh, for demo. So it gets a little closer. Maybe when we switch to the other camera, just select it. Maybe it'll go from here. And then move the time slider. Keep it focused on there. So now we can preview it. So it zooms in, switches cameras, and looks around. Yeah, just simple camera movements. You can also go in and edit the keys. Um, right here. Yep. So just click on that. You can like change the weight the curves look. If you select a couple, press F, you'll focus it. So maybe you want things to like accelerate in rather than ease in. Do something like that. 
or maybe accelerate out. Yeah, grays there. Um, you also change the way it does things, um, or the interpolation, so you can change it to like linear, so that way instead of it ease in and ease out, it could be constant, uh, or linear, I mean, and constant is like different too. I usually use linear. Um, that's that. Uh, the other thing, um, lighting. Uh, I would throw in some cool lights. Uh, maybe not these lights. The directional lights are good for like like sunlight and stuff. Maybe you want something very like um, indoorsy. So maybe you have to throw in some spotlights and like make it dramatic or something. You can use lighting to like really set the mood. like change the colors and things like that. Uh, so maybe like over here, so I have a light selected, change like, maybe like a blue. Maybe change this one to like, orange. Maybe you can like, make this one a little bit stronger. Maybe make this one like a little bit like weaker. All right, let's see what we got. Let's close this one. You can also go game view. That way it hides all the game elements. You can also key things in the light. You can animate the lights moving. So many things. Uh, just like a really quick overview here from like how to do some of the basics of cinematics. Uh, but anyways, once you're done, you can press this button, render. Uh, there's also the new um, render. Okay, so if you guys wanna use the newer um, rendering thing, just type in, go ahead and plug in this type in movie. It's the movie render queue. Just enable that and probably do a restart. It's available in, I think, uh, two, point or 4.26 and this will show up it's pretty cool um you just gotta select the level sequence that you're using and what's great about it is that you can use um have transparency with like pngs and stuff like that um you can also do render passes um yeah it's good stuff I'm not gonna get too much into this right now, but for right now, I'm just gonna show you guys the basic um, export. Let me go back to my. I had just a restart to load up that render queue to show where it pops up. Okay, so yeah, once you have your um, scene set up, you're happy how it looks. Maybe I'll shorten this. And then, so this red bar here shows how long your thing is. Um, let's go 100% quality. I should do uh, PNGs. This, um, you won't get transparency through this method, but it's less compressed. Um, if you want a little bit smaller size, you do JPEGs. I don't typically like using APIs because it's, um, even though it's uncompressed, you get these giant files that you will have to re-render the whole thing if, say, you mess up like a couple frames here and there. Um, yeah, that's that. You can change the, the quality, 4K. Yeah, just 1K is fine. Change where it's uh, saved. Just make a new folder. I'll just select this here. And then that's the naming system. We'll just keep it default. And you can also change when it starts and if you need to have warm up frames, like if you have like a particle system creating things, that's where you'll set it. Um, yeah, so let's press capture movie. Let's don't save.
So you can kind of view it as it renders. Sometimes it doesn't look perfect in this viewport, but that's okay. All right, it's all done. Uh, it took like a minute, so I'm gonna open up After Effects and show you guys the next steps. All right, so we're here in After Effects. Um, as you can see the renders came out okay. You can also use Premiere if you want, or any other software. Let's just do new composition, uh, call it whatever. Um, file import, file. Let's see. Just copy this location. Jump right to it. Select the first frame, PNG sequence, import. And let's see. Here's our video. Um, yeah, so from here on is you know basic video editing. Add some songs, effects, things like that. Snip it up. File export. I usually do media encoder queue, or you could just like add render queue here. That's fine too. And you could set your settings, but that'd be a different topic. So, anyways, hope you guys like the series. Um, catch you next time.